Are you lost? Sorry. There's not a lot I can do for you. Well, you're obviously not from around here. I don't believe I've ever seen visitors in the Bureau before, come to think of it. If you were from around here, you'd probably be off enjoying yourself in Prosperity Plaza, not poking around the Bureau. Alonso Vallejos. Extraordinarily pleased to make your acquaintance, and so on and so forth. I'm currently operating a sightseeing tour of sorts. Think of it as a guided journey across Halcyon. Would you be interested in a trial run? Glad you asked. Our tour guides you across some of the most picturesque and breathtaking sights around Halcyon. We've placed some beacons across a series of locations around Halcyon. All you have to do is follow the beacons to adventure. That slogan's a work in progress. So, what do you think? Are you interested? Outstanding! Here, you'll need this special triangulating device. Think of it as a wireless compass, pointing the way to the next beacon. When you find a beacon, this device records your discovery and directs you to the next stop on your tour. Find every beacon, finish your tour, and come back here to claim your commemorative hat. Simple! you do that so fast? Sure thing. All right, I'm on the move.
Nice going. Sure. My dear fellow, you've no idea how our production has suffered. Why, the loafers working on factory lines are practically robbing us. It's even worse for us, my good man. Our workers, if one can call them that, keep losing fingers. How are we to make a bit? <laughs> ah! Bankers joined to our energy crew. Watch out for our trees. Welcome, intrepid adventurer, to Prosperity Plaza, where the shops never close. Now, make your way to the bustling region of Emerald Vale. Prepare to be dazzled by the Vale's breathtaking lava flows, rated the third most impressive in Halcyon.
Spacer's Choice Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Remember that It might be still drinking. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. Kinda hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from the top? Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. Hammersmith, the most trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis district. Hey, I've been trying to get a post at the HHC, but they keep turning me down on account of my odious interpersonal skills. Or something. Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. You're new to the ministry? You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? That was yours? Wow. You earned that promotion, all right. So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. But then you had to wait six to eight weeks for the complaint forms to arrive, right? I've been there. Yeah, all right. You're good to go. You can pass. Go on through. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Move along. Ever get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? Do we really need all this security? I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bathroom break. Can't be too careful. 
Dissidents like Phineas Wells will stop at nothing to ruin this colony. But couldn't they concentrate the security outside the building so we can get some work done? Why are you so bothered by having a few guards around? I think I'm gonna have to speak to your supervisor about these dissonant leanings of yours. Wait, that's not what I meant. Always plenty of filing to be done. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Chairman Rockwell is working on some exciting new plans for the colony. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Stay your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. If you're not clear to know, then I'm definitely not clear to tell you. Something on your mind?
is that you? Moss, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors, Just a second. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. <laughs> we thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather, uh, substantial. You what? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Why did you do that? We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd... you'd run off to become a... a, a miscreant, could we? The neighbors would talk, and not in a good way. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to, uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time.
Let's talk outside. Let's just put this unpleasantness behind us. Oh, could you please leave quietly now? Can we talk? Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. thought they'd be scandalized. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed. I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either, the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or... Oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Now, getting back to my story... Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me, to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, You had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red, and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base. Or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. But I want to talk about me now. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off.
My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Something on your mind? Something on your mind? Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. All right, how does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your hole. Family tonight. I tell you. Have you tried our new cocktail, sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Oh, by all means, ask away. I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. By auto mechanicals, of course. Byzantium's fleet of mechanical servitors are programmed to simulate a labor force, but without all the unsightly workers milling about. We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka is about to release its newest color, ultraviolet completely invisible to the naked eye. What can I do for you? Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Quite so. 
but I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Studies have shown that drinking in the vicinity of extremely valuable objects, such as this auto-mechanical bartender, can enhance the quality of your intoxication. UDL security attendant is always preferred. Hey, 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 stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not, <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. Yep, yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, cause today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Oh. Um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. Oh, maybe they got some at the bar. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before?
Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Cheers to me! <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, medium colored hair and, like, a kind of a medium face. She's like in his posters. Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Oh, um, he's a uh, medium. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay, moving out. I just need to sit down. You, sir, are a fabulous negotiator.
those wastrels in Emerald Vale have all abandoned their work. Did you know? How typical. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. A fine day for parcel pickups, isn't it? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Halcyon Parcel Service is the most dependable parcel delivery service in the colony. You might even say we're part and parcel of Halcyon's commercial enterprise. That's just a little parcel joke. Nope, just parcels. We don't deal in packages. It's very technical. Halcyon Parcel Service strictly adheres to the standards and definitions of packaging as outlined by the Executive Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. We can ship all the parcels you want. But if I start shipping packages, I could get into some real trouble. Handcuffs and hard labor trouble. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. You do that? Wow! Hey, you know, a positive review from the Minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel, to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Law speed. Left hands, Cap. I'm going.
I wish I could do that. Okay. How may I be of assistance? Sure, on my way. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't 